It seemed like a pretty innocuous tweet. A long flight means paperwork and Prime Minister Modi took to Twitter and uploaded a photograph taken of him on Air India 1 as he was flying to the United States. That picture of him signing files, reviewing official paperwork on board the aircraft has gone super viral. Neither did he say that he was the first Prime Minister to be doing this, but that picture has dropped a political bomb on an atmosphere where there are so many people simply waiting to attack the Prime Minister. But that wasn't the only viral image. The floodgates were opened for all kinds of images as the Prime Minister landed in Washington. These were the images that greeted him as he landed there. If Prime Minister Modi wanted to start his US visit with a bang, he couldn't have done it better. This one photograph, tweeted by the Prime Minister during his flight, has triggered an absolute ton of reactions. The picture shows Modi seated in the common seating area of Indian Air Force One, the country's VIP Boeing 777 jet. Modi clutches a sheaf of papers, pen in hand, ready to sign. Before him, a pile of official files. And on the seat next to him, a strolly suitcase of the kind millions of travellers use. Even with that very familiar little travel lock. Modi tweeted the picture with a seemingly innocuous message. A long flight also means opportunities to go through papers and some file work. But the picture detonated instantly online with an absolute storm of reactions. First off the block was this tweet by a prominent former Congress member who declared that Modi wasn't the first Prime Minister to read files on long flights. While several observers questioned whether this was actually a picture of former Prime Minister Manmohan Singh in an aircraft, the politics had been well and truly triggered, with several Congress leaders jumping in to take a pot shot at the Prime Minister. From a high-profile Congress MP from Tamil Nadu, to prominent Congress leader and Pranab Mukherjee's daughter, who insisted this was nothing new, to a Congress Delhi Vice President questioning the calculated lighting in the Prime Minister's photograph. The picture by Modi also triggered a torrent of photographs of past Prime Ministers working during similar official flights. Former Prime Minister Lal Bahadur Shastri's granddaughter Mahima tweeted this composite image praising both the leaders. And while Modi hasn't claimed to be the first Prime Minister to conduct official business on long-haul flights, his one image has opened the floodgates to this. From Nehru and Indira, to Rajiv Gandhi, to P.V. Narasimha Rao, to Manmohan Singh. But for all the politics, Modi appears to have proven an old truth. No matter what he does, whether admirers or critics, there will always be thousands waiting to pounce. Bureau Report, India Today. So that's the first viral image that uh, was detonated today from mid-flight by the Prime Minister. Meanwhile, the BJP has uploaded another video on Instagram to take a pot shot at the Congress party, comparing Prime Minister Narendra Modi with former Prime Minister Manmohan Singh. As you can see in this video, an Indian official is holding an umbrella for Manmohan Singh when he was descending uh, Air India 1. But Manmohan Singh was on a tour of Canada at the time. On the other side, you can see Prime Minister today holding his own umbrella and coming down the stairs of Air India 1 after landing in Washington. So what the BJP basically is trying to project here is that the Prime Minister does his own work. He doesn't have any attendants or man Fridays who need to hold his umbrella for him. So this kind of tit-for-tap politics is playing out over the viral images of Prime Minister Modi. First, he tweeted a picture of himself reading files on the plane. The Congress attacked him. And now the BJP using another viral image of Modi to score points against the Congress party. That's the potency, ladies and gentlemen. I just wanted to show you of what images can be how images can be used to play politics. Now, the Prime Minister landed to a rousing reception in Washington, D.C. early this morning, India time. The Prime Minister, remember, is on a crucial three-day visit to the U.S., which will kick off today with a series of meetings. In a couple of hours from now, he'll be meeting top American CEOs. He will also meet American Vice President Kamala Harris 
later in the day. Take a look at this curtain raiser. It puts you in the picture. After boarding Air India 1 in Delhi and some paperwork utilizing the long flight, Prime Minister Modi touched down at Maryland's Andrews Air Force Base for a three-day tour to a rousing welcome by the Biden administration and a rapturous one by the diaspora on a rain-soaked evening. Modi stepped out of his motorcade to interact with the enthusiastic crowd, chanting his name and Bharat Mata Ki Jai. What is your take on Prime Minister Narendra Modi's visit and how should he engage the world? Well, as a student, uh, I recognize that it's a monumental time with the issues that's going around the world, especially with Afghanistan and the tremors in the Indo-Pacific. So it's a monumental time and it's great to be here while the Prime Minister is here. I'm very happy and excited that Narendra Modi ji is uh, you know, in our Washington DC here. And uh, he's such a big leader. Everybody knows around the world, you know, and he's bringing good thing for India. I look forward to this meeting, especially, I mean, uh, the changes that have taken place in Afghanistan. I'm sure uh, it's going to be a big talk about that with the, uh, President uh, Biden. From the airbase, Prime Minister's motorcade went straight to the Hotel Villard Intercontinental in Pennsylvania Avenue. Massive security presence outside his hotel, that's Hotel Willard, which is where he stays normally. This time around also, he's staying at this historic hotel. And there is absolute security presence and barricading of the hotel. If you see on the right and the left hand side, there are these cement huge block barricades uh, to ensure that no cars really pass through this entire lane, this entire road. Indian Americans also lined up at Modi's Washington Hotel with Indian colors. Prime Minister Modi in a tweet said that diaspora is India's strength and that he was grateful for the rousing reception. India Today is tracking every engagement of the Prime Minister in the United States. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has arrived here at his hotel here, Hotel Villa. That's where he's entering the hotel. That's the tentment that has been built for him for security reasons. The entire area over here has been cordoned off. Uh, nobody being allowed to enter this entire area. If you can see, there are security personnel who have been deployed. He has a jam-packed day one in U.S. The highlight being the crucial bilateral meeting with U.S. Vice President Kamala Harris, which is scheduled at 12.45 a.m. Indian Standard Time on Friday. He will also hold bilateral talks with Australia Prime Minister Scott Morrison at 11 p.m. Indian Standard Time. But the Prime Minister kicks off his tour by meeting top five CEOs in Washington. Qualcomm CEO Cristiano R. Amon, Adobe Chairman Shantanu Narayan, First Solar CEO Mark Widmer, General Atomic CEO Vivek Lal, and Blackstone CEO Stephen Schwartzman will be present for the meet. A bilateral meeting with US President Joe Biden, an in-person quad meet to counter China and a crucial address at the United Nations General Assembly. Prime Minister Modi's US tour is pivotal and path-breaking in many ways. With Geeta Mohan in Washington, Bureau Report, India Today. Now, American desis are never shy of showing their affection for Prime Minister Modi and they did so with full fervor at Washington once the Prime Minister landed and also outside his hotel. He is used to seeing these adoring crowds of Indians who are looking for that one darshan, that one glimpse of the Prime Minister they love so much. But there is one Indian or rather American of Indian origin who is meeting with the Prime Minister may not be as affectionate as the other meetings, principally because Kamala Harris has been a critic of Modi's style of politics in the past. But is that all going to change now with their first face-to-face -face meeting, especially after the two have been very cordial right through the COVID-19 crisis? Take a look at this big update and curtain raiser in the run-up to the first meeting between Prime Minister Modi and Vice President Kamala Harris.
adoring Indian crowds welcoming the Indian Prime Minister. NRIs and American Desis have always flaunted their affection for Modi. But there's one American of Indian origin with whom Modi hasn't always shared a very warm connect. We're talking about US Vice President Kamala Harris. Just past midnight tonight, India time, Prime Minister Modi will meet the first ever person of Indian origin to be elected Vice President of the United States. The two leaders last spoke on the phone during the peak of the COVID crisis when Prime Minister Modi thanked her for the support and solidarity from the US government and Indian diaspora. But tonight's meeting in Washington DC brings them face to face for the first time. When Kamala Harris invoked her aunts my back niece, in Tamil Nadu during daughter. her election campaign, Family is my uncles, my aunts and my chittis. Prime Minister Modi was quick to latch on and say that her victory was a matter of immense pride, not just for her chittis, but also for all Indian Americans. With strong left-leaning views, Kamala Harris has been frequently vocal about right-wing politics, including the brand of politics espoused by India's ruling BJP. Vice President Harris has also articulated strong views about Kashmir that don't quite align with the Indian governments. Her views on democracy and pluralism have frequently been thinly disguised attacks on the perceived communal atmosphere in India. Kamala Harris was also conspicuous by her absence at the mega Howdy Modi event in Houston in September 2019. A decision that was seen as her frowning upon the Modi-Trump bonomy and their individual political styles. Family is our but as the two nations must now work together in a dangerous new world, it remains to be seen how the Indian Prime Minister and the first US Vice President of Indian origin craft their connect. Millions of Indian Americans will be waiting and watching closely. Bureau Report, India Today. Now, Prime Minister Narendra Modi is in the United States to engage directly for the first time in person with President Joe Biden. Now, given the trajectory of India-US ties in recent decades, all bilateral engagements between the two nations come with a sense of anticipation and the possibility of a renewal and something that takes things to the next level. Here's a report on the India-US relationship under Prime Minister Modi so far. It was 2014, and fresh from a landslide victory in the Lok Sabha elections, Prime Minister Narendra Modi embarked on a historic trip to the US. The world's oldest democracy, which once denied him a visa, was now according a red carpet welcome. The world got a glimpse of Modi euphoria at the Madison Square Garden in New York. Modi Modi chants reverberated in the jam-packed venue. The diaspora gushed at the politician who was challenging the obsolete West stereotype of India as the land of snake charmers. The PM roaring to unveil a new India vision. मेरी कोशिश ये है कि विकास एक जन आंदोलन बने समाजों करोड़ देशवासी एक विकास के जन आंदोलन का हिस्सा बने सारी दुनिया के लोग अमेरिका में आकर के बसे हैं और भारत के लोग सारी दुनिया में जाकर के बसे हैं. After Madison Square, Prime Minister Modi enthralled surging crowds at the New York Central Park. Standing next to Hollywood star Hugh Jackman at the Global Citizen Festival, Modi quoted this famous line from the Star Wars in a youth outreach. May the force be with you. 
Modi met then US President Barack Obama, setting the foundation of a tie that continued to flourish in the years that followed. We have so much in common, it is critical for us to continue to deepen uh, and broaden uh, the existing framework of partnership and friendship that already exists. The very next year, it was Modi playing host to the Obama couple. Sealed with warm hugs upon touchdown in Delhi. The US president was the chief guest in the Republic Day celebrations. President Obama sampled the legendary Chaiwala when Modi personally served Bonami with a piping hot cup of tea. Later in 2015, Prime Minister Modi travelled to the US again for huddle with members of global business powerhouses, with the likes of Mike Bloomberg in attendance. But it was a meeting with Facebook co-founder Mark Zuckerberg where Modi became emotional, talking about his mother, childhood struggle and humble family origins. I am very poor family. आप जानते हैं मैं रेलवे स्टेशन पे चाय बेचता था हमारे पिताजी तो रहे नहीं है माता जी है नब्बे साल से भी ज्यादा उम्र है आज भी अपने सारे काम खुद करती हैं by this time, Modi's camaraderie with Obama was paying off handsome dividends. During Modi's 2016 US trip, Washington offered a forceful backing for India in the exclusive nuclear suppliers group. I am a member of the Obama and my former minister of Obama that we have got to meet today. We have met बातचीत की है लेकिन डिप्लोमेटिक दृष्टि से उसकी जितनी ताकत है उतनी उसकी दोस्ताना स्वरूप में भी ताकत है इट वाज 2017 एंड द डेमोक्रेट्स वर ट्रम्प्ड इन प्रेसिडेंशियल पोल्स बट इंडिया स्टाइज विद द यूएस वर ओनली गेटिंग स्ट्रॉंगर मोदी स्ट्रक अ पर्सनल रैपोर्ट विद प्रेसिडेंट ट्रम्प the warm embraces kept coming, signaling the start of another enduring friendship and mutual admiration. Trump and the first family got an invite to visit their new friend in India. Modi focused on terror with the surgical strike on Pakistan terror factories, finding a crucial mention in his diaspora address in Virginia. The year was 2019. And Modi had just led BJP to yet another historic victory in the Lok Sabha elections. Fresh with a resounding mandate, Modi resumed his US outreach. With the iconic Howdy Modi event at Houston's NRG Stadium. An unparalleled romance with Trump. Touching new heights with the upkey bar Trump Sarkar moment. Abki bar, Trump Sarkar. And a victory lap with Trump at the last leg of the marquee event with diaspora cheering on. The Bonomi at Howdy Modi was preceded by the viral fist bump moment at G7 summit in France. <laughs> Trump marked the last year of his presidency with a memorable trip to India, making it even special by visiting Prime Minister Modi's home state, Gujarat. The Namaste Trump event at Motera Stadium, Ahmedabad, witnessed Modi and Trump carving their dosti in golden letters before a capacity crowd. Trump and his wife Melania even visited Mahatma Gandhi's Sabarmati Ashram 
with Modi playing the host. Modi's successive US trips recasting Indo-American ties, turning them from occasional adversaries to natural allies. Bureau report, India Today. Now, the centerpiece of this visit is the first in-person Quad Summit that's all set to take place in the White House on Friday. Now, ahead of this crucial Quad Summit, and as you know, the quadrilateral strategic dialogue is between India, the US, Australia and Japan, Prime Minister Modi will be holding standalone bilateral meetings with the Prime Ministers of Japan and Australia and then with US President Biden. The agenda of the meetings could be to counter China's growing influence in the India-Pacific region. Beijing's military presence and political influence pose a major threat to all four of these countries. Prime Minister Modi's meeting with the Quad leaders is being seen as a move towards tackling China's aggression and a commitment to a free and prosperous India-Pacific region. India is expected to take a major lead in the Quad's terms of reference in the region. Well, the Quad Group is an informal strategic dialogue with four members. It isn't formally a military alliance, but it technically basically is, with India, Japan, Australia and the US being part of it. The US rules out adding India or Japan to the newly formed security alliance with Australia and the UK called AUKUS. And there has been a lot of buzz over whether AUKUS in some ways is above and overlapping what Quad was seeking to do. Much of that clarity will come from this visit by the Prime Minister.